So today is our second anniversary party. I am having such a good time. The turnout has been really great. We are doing our wheel spinner, which I <laughs> was working on like all week that has a bunch of fun coupons for like 10, 15, $20 off and 25, 30, 40% off. And then our anniversary sale is running the whole weekend. And we are also giving out raffle entries to win a thousand dollars for a shopping spree at Villanetto, which is really, really fun. I'm excited. We're going to also like follow up and do a video of the shopping spree, which I think is going to be cool just to see what the winner picks out. And we did like coffee and donuts and apple cider. So we're just having a good old fashioned fun little fall themed party here. We've had a really good turnout. It's been super fun and everybody from the office is here and we're just having a good time. I got into Mill and Meadow early on the day of the anniversary celebration. I started setting up the table with our coupons that were for people who spun the wheel and got a coupon which could have been money off of their order or a percentage off of their order or extra entries into our raffle. So I also set out our raffle tickets and we were raffling off obviously a $1,000 shopping spree in Mill and Meadow, which I am so, so excited for. And it was really, really fun to see people spinning the wheel. We had people starting to arrive about a half hour early and everyone who got there early had two entries into the thousand dollar shopping spree giveaway. And then we also had lots of coffee and donuts. It was like a really beautiful crisp fall day. That was just like a really fun little set up outside the store and then once you got inside we had 20 percent off the entire store but a lot of people had even better coupons than that for um, from the wheel spinner so we had gotten in so much new inventory and new items into the store over the past like month in anticipation of the anniversary sale and i wanted to make sure that the store was set up with all of the new items and then also had a lot of fun fall themed things so this was really cool because when we originally opened the store and the last time that we really had like a big party was our grand opening when we originally opened we didn't have items from other companies as much we had like just a few things that were wholesale that we purchased from other companies and it was mostly just at least brand design items at that time and over time we have been able to introduce more brands and increase like our buying budget for the store as we have grown like a local audience and people who keep coming back to the store and we can count on sales there so now i have a lot bigger of a budget to play with and i can stock more items from other companies so i did a lot of like I was saying like fall themed items. We've been doing a ton of puzzles. So I'd had at least brand design puzzles for a while. And then I started introducing a bunch of other puzzles. So we'd have a huge variety to choose from. We have some new entire like categories in the store. So we have like a whole section of pet things, whether it be like stickers or puzzles or planters or just fun things like that. And then there's like a bookworm section. So kind of setting up the store with like entire new sections that we didn't have when we originally opened was super super fun and it turned out looking really good on the day of so I was very very excited to welcome back people who have possibly not been in Mill and Meadow in a while since it's been a minute since we had like a big celebration there overall there were a ton more people than I expected we had at least based on how many like raffle entries I printed out and how many got used we had at least 200 people come into the store that day so that was amazing super super awesome and we did like use all of our raffle entries we literally used the last one at 1 59 p.m which was one minute before the entire event was over it ran 11 to 2 which is so funny and the crazy thing is we did choose a winner for our thousand dollar shopping spree and it turns out the winner was the person who had the very last entry which is crazy because i completely mixed up all of the raffle entries so it wasn't just like the last raffle ticket in was the first one that i chose out like i mixed them all up really good and it just happened to be the very last person who entered which is super serendipitous and i'm very excited for the winner but you'll see that drawing at the end 
In total, I would say the entire day was a huge success. We had tons of people come out. It was a super fun time. The weather was absolutely beautiful. And I got a lot of great feedback on the changes that the store has gone through over the past couple of years. I'm just very proud of Mill and Meadow and I'm more proud of it than ever. And I just, it feels kind of surreal that this is my store, but in all, I just couldn't be happier with how the event worked out and the store that Mill and Meadow has become. What is your favorite Mill and Meadow memory? My favorite Mill and Meadow memory was on our grand opening day, a gal came in and I started chatting with her and she said, I'm from New Zealand. And I was like, what do you mean you're from New Zealand? She's like, I'm on a road trip of the entire US and we redirected our road trip to drive through Durham because we were going to be around the East Coast to come to your opening day. So there was a gal from all the way across the world at our grand opening and I thought that was really cool. My favorite Mill and Meadow memory is our opening day where we had a line out the door and everyone was so excited to come in and it was so fun to hear people who came from out of town to shop at Mill and Meadow. Hands down, my favorite Mill and Meadow memory is the day we opened. It was after close on our first day. Everybody was gone, but we were all just hanging out celebrating how good the day went. We all blasted, what's the song? Cotton Eye Joe and Copperhead Road. Lauren taught us how to do the dance and we just got to dance freely. And our heels kicked off and our dresses dancing in Mill and Meadow. And it was just like the perfect way to open the store. Over the weekend, we had our two year anniversary sale and we did a raffle for a thousand dollar shopping spree in the store. And I'm going to pick the winner now. Just shuffle them around a little. All right. All right, I'm gonna pick it. Just kidding, not that one. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, I think I, I think I know her from Instagram. Like I don't know her personally, but I feel like she has been messaging me for years. Okay. The winner is Have you spun the wheel yet? Well, I can't really use the coupon, so, and I can't really win the raffle. That would be a little awkward. Karen can't enter, unfortunately. I had to put some limits on who could enter because it would be awkward if, like, somebody from the office won. But, you know, these ideas.